For over 80 years, it stood at the corner of Balsam and Beechwood, a tough stadium built for a tough town. There was just a, a mystical thing about that stadium uh, that will always be missed, and it's something that, that cannot be replaced. The Hamilton players and fans go wild. I love the Hamilton fans, and I sure appreciate it. It's like your grandma's house. It's old, it smells, but it's super comfy. The fans were in your face. Uh, they were dedicated and loyal. That's something truly that you can call a home field advantage, and it was a blessing to have that on our side. But on October 28th of 2012, Ivor Wynn permanently turns off the lights, a process that leaves the Tiger Cats orphaned for the season ahead. Underlying question was, where's our home going to be? Because, you know, for every team, you always have a place you can call home. A new stadium for the Tiger Cats is set for construction, but on the same site as Ivor Wynn. So for the 2013 season, they need to find a home away from home. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, up steps a community and, and a university known as Guelph. The choice is Alumni Stadium in Guelph, a small venue far from the team's loyal fan base in Hamilton. At first glance, you look at it and you're like, yeah, this might not be as, uh, as good as I thought. Every situation that you're faced with, uh, you can learn to either embrace it and grow from it or let it be a distraction. Every game is a road game. You need some veterans on that team. The mindset, go in there and own that stadium. What happens if they start 0-4? I guarantee those young guys will break. Well, you then, can't They'll be them. looking no. for a home game. Yeah. Guiding the team through the challenge is new head coach Kent Austin. The Grey Cup champion must work closely with his 38-year-old quarterback, Henry Burris, who is burdened with a repeated question. How old is too old? Well, that's something that I can't answer. I'm sure he's pretty sick of hearing it, uh, but he's mature enough to understand that that just comes with the job. Of course, people are asking me questions about, you know, the things I can't do. All I wanted was the opportunity to get on the field and show what I can do. Burris and company visit their new home in week two, but Guelph greets them with a biblical storm. It was just coming down. You could hardly see across the field. The rain was so thick. Reed starts to blow in here. I've been through some tough, rainy uh, downpours, and I hadn't played in uh, anything like that. Guys are just clawing at almost anything they can grab for it. You can barely see them in front of you. I'm worried I have to snap the ball, and, and it's raining so heavy, and the ball is heavy, and, and the drops of water were huge. as it's drifted, reaches back to grab the football. I guess that kind of prepared us for the future. Edmonton Eskimos have won the inaugural game here at the University of Guelph. For the next few months, the Ticats struggle with consistency. Win one, lose one. But through it all, their fans keep showing up transforming Guelph into Tiger Town. For our fans to be able to turn out and help create that environment and back us the way they did through thick and through thin, I mean, it shows you we have something special there. Slowly, a real home field advantage grows organically, and the wins in Guelph start to pile up. For them, kind of sticking with us, you know, throughout the adversity and making that trek was huge. Um, and then we just kind of paid it back forward. Burris has that link set up. What a touchdown. Dick Abel comes back. He's going to score. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Game of the line. Brady taking a shot downfield.
you have the same emotions that you're pouring out on the field, the fans are pouring out in the stadium, and it transcends. I'd never heard 14,000 people that loud ever in my life. And that's why it truly became a home, a home away from home for us. Ken Austin has guided his team not just to the playoffs, but a home playoff game. Blustery day in Guelph, playoff weather to be sure, the gusts over 60k an hour. The Ticats win five of their last six in Guelph, earning a home playoff game versus Montreal. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And with the winds bearing down, the offense stalls. We definitely had our struggles and we couldn't seem to really get anything going. Is too high. But with the game slipping away, Burris engineers a season saving drive. We knew we had one more chance, and against all odds, we had to drive the whole field into the wind. The game goes to overtime, and with Ticat Nation roaring to life, their team finds a way. Out of the shotgun. Straight ahead. Oh, and the Ticats are headed to Toronto. It just felt like a, a, a bubble of emotions just explode. It was like Hamiltonians and, and Hamilton Tiger Cat fans have been waiting for that moment for a long time. You know, it just capped off a, a great season in Guelph, and uh, you know, I think we're gonna miss that place, to be honest with you. Separated by 70 kilometers on the Queen's Expressway. Arch rivals, bitter enemies. The Eastern Final. And once again, Tiger Cat fans create a home field advantage out of foreign territory. This time in Toronto. We talked all week about the fact that we wanted to turn this into a home game for us. I mean, you can see the colors, you can see the fans, and you can feel it. With Tiger Town bellowing, defensive captain Jamal Johnson leads the Cats out. Yeah! They love us, man. They want to see us. They're here to see us. I called our offensive guys up together, and I told them, look around, soak this up. This is what we play for. Uh -huh. Don't play tight. Play loose, have fun. It's all about execution, effort, and the will to win. And at the end of the game, do exactly what we're supposed to do, and that's win. Win on three. One, two, three, win. We are ready to roll. The CFL Eastern Final is underway. First quarter. And the Tiger Cat defense struggles containing the league's most accurate passer, Ricky Ray. Play action. Ray pressure. Throws the ball. Touchdown. Spencer Watt to the house. And the Argonauts take the lead. Ray drops back to pass. He's going to go for it all. He's got a man open in the Texas. And the end zone for the touchdown. Spencer Watt, second touchdown of the game. We got this. By the second quarter, Hamilton is down 14, and there is concern on their faces. The team needs a lift. We knew in order to get back in this game and keep the momentum on our side, we had to score before halftime. Looking for a receiver, Hank throws it, it's caught, touchdown! Touchdown catch, he threw it over the middle, Andy Van Tuz made the catch, he kicked it into the end zone stands, and the Tiger Cats are back on the scoreboard. They do play ball today. They do play ball today. Once we were able to score on that drive right there, you just felt a lot of things change. Tiger Cats fans are on their feet. Hey, 
We took their best punches. Yep. We took their best shots. We're down seven. Seven's nothing. And we're taking the ball, offense. Yep. We got the ball. We got the ball. Let's go. Let's go tie this thing up right here. Let's go win it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Second half. And Hamilton continues its momentum. Looking, firing, and it's caught! Touchdown! Touchdown, Cats! Greg Ellingson with a diving grab in the end zone. And the Tiger Cats are back on the board. They think they're tired right now. They tired. We got this, bro. We got this. By the fourth quarter, Hamilton pulls in front by three. Oh! And Burris tries to keep Ricky Ray on the sideline. It is a second and 19. Hank unloads deep. It's caught by Grant at the Toronto 43. First down, Tycats. Got him! Got him! And when he made that play, you just saw a burst of emotion from our sideline and from our fans because we knew at that moment in time we had an opportunity. A field goal puts Hamilton up six. Only one minute remains, and the Argos set their sights on a game-winning touchdown. When our backs are against the wall, we can, we'll come out swinging. Man, three and out. Three and out. Ray has the football. Ticats blitz. Ray throws. Incomplete. Second and ten. Ricky Ray back to pass. Looks, fires deep, and is incomplete. One more play. One more play. The season is on the line here for Toronto. I, I couldn't even watch. 58 seconds to go. Will the Cats be great cut bound? You see that Ricky Ray softball in the air. You never, you know, you always, your heart stops a little bit. Incomplete. It's over the head of Owen. The Hamilton Tiger Cat faithful fan base, you know, this is for you. We're going to uh, to Regina to get this cup for you guys. Uh, the city deserves it. Without them, we can't do what we do. I wish we can give them the trophy to come down and celebrate with us. We do it for you, and you know, just keep rooting for us. We we uh, we got your back, and we know you got ours. Thank you.